this is Penguin Gentleman and I have another tea review for you today and as you'll notice I am driving right now but keep in mind I am always having my eyes on the road and I wear my seatbelt safety first but the tea I have for you today is Curacao by the travel agency or the foreign office I don't know what it is I can't look at it right now um, it'll be in the description anyway but anyway it is a very nice light tea. First off, I want to say I really liked the tin of this. It is a very nice tin about how it's, if you're a tea manufacturer and you want to really impress me, have a good tin. I mean, if, you, if it can store the tea really well, looks nice, it's functional, you can use it for something after you run out of tea, that's a good brand for me. I like it. Um, but also, you know, I just like the, I like the picture of it. Um, Oh, it is the foreign office. I like the picture of it. It reminded me of a couple summers ago when I actually did go to Curacao. And first of all, I'd recommend it going there. It's a really nice place, but I really liked it. So anyway, if you open it up, you'll have these tea pouches like this, um, circular like that. Pretty basic, but I thought it was interesting. I've never had any tea pouch like that. It's really nice if you just want to pop it in a mug. Fits really nicely in there. Um, the only problem I have with it is that after you're done steeping you really don't want to stick your fingers in there because you know it's boiling hot water but I really liked it um, it's a nice little change of pace from the standard tea bag that's been around forever so I like that um, but overall it was all right um, I got it at this one shop if you're in Minnesota Minneapolis and you're at the Mall of America there's this one store called the afternoon you can go there to get it and it'll run you about $12 for 26 tea bags. Um, you can also get it at the actual website, theforeignoffice.com. I'll leave a link in the description. Um, personally, I think that's a bit expensive for the kind of tea it is. I'll explain why I think it is later on. But I do think it is a bit expensive for uh, per tea bag. I mean, not even Evening in Missoula was that much and you got a whole lot more and it was a more exciting tea but I'll explain that later so anyway basically this tea I would describe it as a lighter English breakfast um, it is a black tea and I believe that it has the same like Kenyan blend as um, English breakfast but it is an English breakfast it's Curacao tea um, and the main thing that they're trying to say is that it's a really even keel um, throughout your day. And I would agree with that. It's a very mild, mild tea. Um, because it's mild, I would steep it about three minutes and 45 seconds, give or take. I mean, really, it's up to you on your preference because, once again, I really like strong tea. And because this is more of a weaker tea, I would leave it in longer. But with that said, once you brew it, it's going to be that same really dark brown, golden color of English breakfast. And it's going to have the same kind of earthy scent as English breakfast. As you can tell right now, this is a very similar English breakfast tea. The difference is when you drink it, it's going to be a much milder, subtle, earthy flavor. If you've had English tea, you'll know what I'm talking about. English breakfast has more of a bitter taste to it. Um, more of a bitter taste, and that's why you have milk and honey with this. This has more of um, the earthy sense and the taste of English breakfast, but without that bitterness, which, I mean, if you, if you want to have a nice, mild cup of tea, this is fantastic for you because really there's no messing around with it you don't have to worry about putting in too much milk too much honey it's just good as is if you want to have the english breakfast taste without the bitterness and fussing around with all the add-ins this is a great tea for you um because it's really simple like that and it's such a mild even taste this tea i would highly recommend it for first time tea drinkers i mean it's good if you really don't know too much about what kind of teas you like if you're kind of first exploring the possibility of black teas things like that this is a great tea because it's real simple you can't mess it up you 
get that taste of English breakfast, like the staple black tea I consider without the bitterness. And it's really, there's a lot of training wheels on this kind of tea because you don't have to fuss around with the add-ons. You just drink it as is. Um, and because of that, I would highly recommend this. If you're on the go, um, you just need to pop a tea bag in, like four minutes, just toss it out afterwards. And you've got a real simple cup of tea that's pretty good. Um, now, unfortunately, if you're like me who enjoys these different kinds of teas, you may find this a bit boring. You may not like how it's just that subtleness, earthy flavor, and you want something more, you know, more interesting, more appealing to you. This could be a bit boring for you if you don't really, well, if you want more than just that mild, mild earthy taste. Um, but because it's so simple and it's really relaxed, it's got that English breakfast style, earthy, calming, soothing taste, then it's going to be really good for it. any time of day. It's refreshing, it's mild, you don't have to worry about anything. Any time of day, good for relaxing. It, it's real simple. I would recommend it, if, especially if you're a first time tea drinker. Um, the only problem is that it's, you know, I think it's really expensive. Um, considering, I mean, how many bags you get, 26 tea bags for like 12, 13 bucks, that's pretty expensive, but it's really up to you if you want to do it. Um, nice tin, nice look. I've never heard of it, so I can guarantee no one you've ever talked to has heard about it, but I'd give it a shot. Who knows? Maybe you like it, maybe you'll like it more than I am, but give it a shot. This is the Penguin Gentleman, and hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching.